Okay guys, so as you may know, 21 Pilots altered a video on their store site that sent everyone into a tizzy looking for clues. And unlike a lot of the clues about 21 Pilots that the click freaks out over, these were real and had the ring of truth. I won't summarize them too much except to say that you can read about them on this subreddit, which is pretty good up until update 24 when it starts grasping at straws. And instead of talking about everything here, which plenty of people have already done, I wanna talk about particularly the page from Clancy's journal. If you don't know what that is, basically there's a secret website with a lot of strange images. And when Josh told us that Tyler was cutting ties with Dima, it was indeed about Towers of Silence. And when the eye closed on the word silence when the Twitter account went inactive, it was all leading into this. What is a Tower of Silence? Well, an old religion Zoroastrianism believed that dead bodies were unclean. So they would take them and put them on top of these towers they built, and and let birds pick the bodies clean until just the bones could be removed. And Dima is the name of an organization that supposedly Tyler or Tyler and Josh are both metaphorically a part of. But as far as this new update, basically there's a map that seems to be of Dima. It has nine sections, each with a weird name that's a snapshot of letters from a blurry face song, like Choke on Smoke Becomes Keons. And these are the names of bishops that run one ninth of the town each. On the outskirts of town is a cemetery or necropolis, i.e. city of the dead, which fits with the Towers of Silence. There's a lot here but let's turn our attention to the page from the journal. I teach college level literary analysis and this journal piece is definitely clearly intended as some sort of a piece of journal based literature. Basically in this journal we see a world being built. It's a piece from the journal of a character named Clancy, and he's starting to be unhappy with Dima when he writes, As a child, I looked upon Dima with wonder. Today I am wrought with frustration. He continues, There was a wonderful structure to the city that put my cares to rest. Streets and locations were dependable, and the responsibilities of the day seemed to be accomplished with minimal effort. Apparently, Dima is an organization and a village, and Clancy seems to be a part of the working class, though, to be fair, most people seem to be that way so far. In fact, the only people mentioned with any form of power are the bishops, who seem to have absolute power. Not only is someone teaching the inhabitants to do simple tasks, but some bishops are rumored to be, quote, ruthless in a way that makes Clancy, quote, honored and, quote, proud to serve his stoic elder, Keons, named after Heavy Dirty Soul. Clancy, though, has become unhappy with Dima after he turns his mind to, quote, contemplate the existential and to, quote, decide what type of impression I want my life to make. When he acquires bigger dreams, he sees an incredibly high wall that he hadn't noticed before and that makes Dima not a, quote, home, but, quote, my trap. Once Clancy acquires self-awareness and starts to think deep existential thoughts defined as, quote, concerned with existence, and tries to make a personal difference in the world, he finds obstacles that will keep him from it. And this may have something to do with the bridge from doubt from Blurry Face. Nine on the bishops claw our way up their system, repeating simple phrases someone wholly insisted, want the markings made in my skin to mean something to me again, hope you haven't left without me. This is an odd twist of imagery. It sounds like he's singing as someone with Indima who's trying to be successful successful in the organization, and who hasn't learned to look outside the system yet. These quote simple phrases could coincide with the simple tasks given to the people of Dima. But even still, the question remains, what is this place? And I have no answers because at this point, to any answers that we could possibly give, no matter how good, the best recommendation we could give to it would be, oh gee, that sounds like it could be it, whoa. But none of us can say this is definitely it. But let's review the facts. Number one, society with simple tasks handed down by leaders with absolute power. Number two, existentialism drives people to look away from it. Number three, the society fights back against existential thought with invisible walls that act as traps. Number four, the society seems better to children who are less mature. Number five, Keons, one of the bishops, is focused and stoic, inspiring loyalty, while at least some of the bishops may be ruthless. There are any number of situations that fit, barely fit, or almost fit, but there are five that I find at least 20% compelling, here are four of them. Organized religion, the music industry, childhood, the American dream. Of those, I think organized religion would be the most interesting one to be the answer, but it seems a little overt for Tyler, and while the music industry theory will likely have many parallels, it too seems too concrete for Tyler. And the other two are even weaker. Tyler doesn't do cut and dried allegories about social causes very enthusiastically or very often. So here's a theory I think more likely. I think Tyler may be done with silence. Car radio left him just sitting in silence, and now he wants to cut ties with his Towers of Silence that ended up being more of a trap, apparently. Think about the lyrics from Ride. I've been thinking too much, I've been thinking too much, help me. Car Radio got him thinking, Ride found him wanting to think less, 
and now I think we're gonna go into the next era. He's learned lessons from silence, many of them good, some of them not good, and he's probably ready to move on to the next thing. We're currently in the dash now, the silence of the 21 Pilots symbol, and we're ready for something new, which you can learn more about by watching my 21 Pilots hiatus theory video. What will this be? Where is he going? What the frick is happening? It would be unproductive to speculate too much more without any more data to help us, but hey, we don't have any music to listen to, so what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. And thanks guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out that 21 Pilots hiatus theory video. The link will be around here somewhere or over here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And if you see anything new happen, feel free to like message me or Instagram me or tweet me or something like that. The only reason I knew about this was because of another lyric theorist. So thanks for watching guys. Talk to you later.